Man, it's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. I, man, I need to get into your real raw rugged. I gotta go to school after this video. But hey, man, I've been whipping out these videos like a motherfucker, man. I feel good. So, we're gonna get into the Jericho Jackson album, man. Um, it's by Elzai and Crisis. So, Jericho Jackson, I didn't think the name was funny until I told Ken to know about it from the uh, live stream. If you, if you don't look at my live stream, go look at my live stream. We do a live stream every Wednesday, so that means we're doing it on tomorrow. And yeah, man, that nigga had me dying, man. That nigga said Jericho Jackson sound like a black superhero. <laughs> nigga said Jericho Jackson sound like a nigga that's gonna feud with Luke Cage and shit, man. Jericho Jackson do sound like a nigga that do got a a, a, a black exploitation film. Like he sound like a nigga that they made after Shaft. Like he sound like a nigga that was gonna make for Shaft, and it was like, nah, Jericho Jackson, that's just a little too niggery for me. <laughs> we gonna we gonna name a nigga Shaft. You know what I'm saying? That sound like Jer that's like the Shaft original name, but they just called a nigga Shaft instead of Jericho Jackson. So yeah. Shout out to Jericho Jackson, man, our black superhero. And let's get into it, man. This review is brought to you by Goddamn Wheaties, man. Shout out to Michael Phelps. That nigga smoke big weed. So let's get into it, man. Uh, Words of Illusion. Now, this, this is like an intro, and it's basically like some guy talking about how thinking is good in moderation, but how thinking can be bad, and how you should think so much. Because if you think so much, you start to overthink, which leads us perfectly into our next song. Well, the first song, really, Overthinking. Now, Elzai is just sliding all over. I've been a fan of Elzai since Elmatic. Um, yeah, Elzai is crazy, man. So, yeah, he goes and he's basically just, like, not even really snapping. That's not even the right word. He's just jotting down so He's jotting down thoughts that's, like, coming into his head or whatnot. He's talking about girls post face, girl post pics of fake pregnancies out of boredom. That's crazy, bro. Imagine the bitch got down and be like, damn, I'm bored as hell. Like, the normal person, I'm going to go play the game. I'm going to go drive around. You know, I'm going to go talk to my friend. You know what I mean? got them. Who the last nigga I smashed? I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram saying they got me pregnant. Like, bitch, <laughs> bitch what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch, <laughs> what, what did Jack Dim say? Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> oh, say it again, goddamn. Like, no, you not, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's what these hoes be doing out of boredom, man. Bitch, goddamn, take a picture of fake pregnancies. You know how bored you gotta be, bitch? Bitch, gonna spend some money at CVS just to troll. Bitch, <laughs> your trolling spent money, goddamn. You had to spend money to troll, bitch. You're doing it backwards. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's crazy right there. But he was sliding on it when he said, uh, smarty pants niggas, he's smarty pants niggas would him get designer jeans, fire. Yeah, very good song, but just like, uh, just him thinking. But self-made, goodness gracious, this was the single off of this album. My goodness, man, had that sample that, man, this shit's so fire, man. What that nigga say? Since 12th grade, what do you say? Self made since 12th grade is my calling. Every jewel I drop his money out the sky falling. L is that nigga. Ooh, that nigga was sliding all over this. He said, Stand up, nigga, always thinking on his toes. Ah, go, man. Go, man. What else? Talk to me, nigga. This nigga was sliding. Bro, what he said? I'm nothing short of amazing. I had a brush with death, and all it did was make my wave spin. Go, man. What else, man? Talk to me, nigga. Go, man. What else, man? Let's go, man. That shit. Nigga, that's a damn bar right there. That's my bar of the week, man. Nigga said, I'm nothing short of amazing. I had a brush with death, and all it did was make my waves spin. Bro, who in the hell gave this nigga the pink slip to go in the booth? Because I'm talking about this nigga was goddamn, whoa. That nigga was slipping and sliding all over this hole right here, man. God damn, hell, huh? Nigga, that nigga said he had a brush with death, and all it did was make his waves spin. Grease, nigga. God, they don't even got waves, man. That shit made me want to cut all my hair off and get waves, man. That shit was fire, man. This old song, he was just talking, bro. It give me more reason to pour Riesling. Like, oh, man, go and talk to me. Daddy, man, let's go, man. Didn't mean to call nigga daddy, but you can't. <laughs> hey, pools, be pools. <laughs> we from pools, man, pools. Be nigga don't call nigga daddy pools, man. I call him poppy pools. Nah, for real. For real, though, this shit fire, man. Next track, man, Cuffin' Season. Nice spin on the phrase Cuffin' Season, because usually when you say Cuffin' Season, you're talking about, like, wife and a chick, or, you know, like, uh, talking to a chick or whatnot. But instead of that, he's saying that it's Cuffin' Season, like, you about to get arrested, you know? When he said, uh, <clears throat> he said when the streets turn to cold, it's Cuffin' Season. So, you know, usually niggas start cuffing a girl when it's wintertime or whatnot. Shout out to the big girls. You cuff a big girl, you know what I'm saying? When it's a little, when it's a little chill inside, you got them, you got them, get under your big girl like she a blanket, got them, use, use your big girl as a snuggie, man. That's fire right there, man. What he said, uh, he said, um, he said they, they already racial profiling. 
So the streets talking, I just hope it's a low volume. That's fire, man. Niggas say racial profiling. If the streets talking, I hope it's a low volume. That's fire right there. So yeah, cover season, very good spin on that right there. And then we go to 17. Oh, damn. This beat, nigga. Let me talk to crisis, nigga. Who the fuck gave you the goddamn pink slip, the goddamn, whoa, slip and slide all over this beat. This nigga killed this beat. Bro, he produced the entire heck out of this beat, man. Goodness gracious, man. And then he changed. I'm sorry, my ear itching real bad right now. But goodness gracious. Then he changed the beat like, oh, boy, boy, boy. And then Elzai just handled it like a freaking beast. This song basically is talking about like a young man at 17 making moves that I guess a typical 17-year-old would make, man. And it's fire, man. And then just the way he was like rhyme, just like his rhyme schemes, like he really cares on how he writes, bro. Just the way he have internal rhymes and like, like just play on words, like it's crazy, bro. When he said, "Uh, every everyone has your best interests at heart. It wouldn't be we wouldn't be close if y'all if y'all was inches apart. That's the interesting part. Like that's fire, bro. Best interests of best interests at heart. Y'all wouldn't be close if y'all was inches apart. The interesting part, like that's fire, bro. So yeah." This song is ridiculous, man. That beat change just killed me right there, man. So yeah, I love this, man. What he said, um, this is the, uh, this is that you wouldn't be a first corpse, you wouldn't be the, uh, you wouldn't be the, you wouldn't be the youngest corpse at seventeen died for a pair of Jordan, uh, a pair eleven clean. Like this is fire right here, man. See, I fuck with this on hard. And then we go to friends. Very another beautiful beat, bro. And it was just going crazy. And he was based on my fake friends, man. I need the instrumental to this song right here. I need an instrumental album in general. But yeah, this song just based on my fake friends and how people, you know, be flawed. So yeah, very another good song. And then we go to To Do List, another hard song. Uh, talking about, uh, you leave me alone. What you talking about? Leave me alone. This sounds like some like 90s straight era, just like 90s, almost D'Angelo type beat. Like, what, what's the song where D'Angelo rapping with um, on Voodoo? I think he rapping with uh, Red Man and Method Man. I forget the name of that song, but this is what this reminds me of. You gon' learn to leave me alone. It reminds me of that song that uh with, with Method Man and and uh and Red Man and D'Angelo. If anybody can remember that song name, let me know. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. <clears throat> track number nine, listen. Now I'm gonna say this is probably my least favorite track on here, just because Elzai just said, hey, fuck rapping on beat. I'm gonna just rap how I want to. This nigga was rapping on his own goddamn accord. This nigga was on his G Herbal guy. You know how G Herbo you be rapping sometimes? Like, this nigga don't be rapping on no type of beat, man. Like, hey, and nigga, nigga stop the beat. Hey, G Herbo, what beat you rapping on? Bitch, everything. Like, okay, okay G. That nigga rapping on every hip hop beat ever made. <laughs> that nigga rapping on a goddamn Young Thug beat and an MF Doom beat. Well, that nigga be rapping on goddamn bitch everything. <laughs> and shout out to G. Hey, free G Herbo, man. I've been saying that for the past month, man. Bitch, everything. <laughs> shout out to Herbo, man. But yeah, wasn't a bad song, but he was just rapping to like his own accord. Shout out to Amber, Nar Amber Narvon. I don't know how to say her name, but she did her thing on here with the singing. So, yeah, cool. Uh, Brigette. Then he just went right back. Oh, nigga, I was rapping on beat. Let me get back on beat, man. That nigga say every bar is epic. Far as skeptics, it can bring an insomniac out of a narcoleptic. Ah! Go, man. Come on, man. Every bar is epic. Every bar is epic. Far as skeptic, it can bring insomnia out of a narcoleptic. Go, man. Go. That was fire. He was just sliding on this, man. What do you say? Every time you listen, you get a cold baguette to your ear. Like, he was just sliding all over this shit right here. So, yeah, he made it up for listen, man. You know what I'm saying? I was listening on this right here, boy. This shit was hard. And you go to chapter number 11. Thank you. It's basically like a thank you song to everybody in his life that he feels like helped him out from his fans to his family to his friends to uh, girls in his life. Like, he's just thanking everybody, man. This is the, uh, what would he say? Um, they told my mom to get an abortion, but she still chose to put... But my mama still shows me to push out her stomach. Like, that was just, you know what I'm saying? That's some real shit right there, man. Your mom's supposed to get an abortion. She pushed him out anyway. So, very good track. And, um, yeah, man. That's really all I got to say about this. I really think this album is really, really good. I feel like people are going to sleep on this a lot. And this is, like, one of the best rap albums to come out. I mean, we're only two months in, but still. Jericho Jackson gave us some fire, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, Jericho Jackson can make a film, you know what I'm saying? Jericho Jackson! Nigga be, like, kicking doors now, like, free, sucker! You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we get one of them films by Jericho Jackson. We'll see. But, um, yeah. Until next time, I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate, man. Plus, gonna play Highlight Your Boy now, man.